Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers. They ask about a function that needs to return a value from a table where that value might not always be present. The catch, this value can be one of several types, including integer, double, string, or date. So what should such a function return? Is using st optional combined with std variant a smart choice? Let's dive into this topic and explore the best practices for handling such scenarios. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. In this scenario, we need a function that can return a value from a table, which may or may not exist. To handle this, we can use this optional. The value can be of several types, int, double, string, or date. To manage these different types, we can use said variant. Combining these two, we can define our function's return type as std, optional variant int double string to chrono time point. This approach is effective because std optional allows us to indicate the absence of a value, while std variant lets us handle multiple types safely. In conclusion, using st optional with std variant is a good design choice for this function, providing clarity and safety in handling different types and optional values. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. Before C17, there was a solution for handling empty variants using boost blank with boost variant. It's a useful alternative to the standard variant and monostate introduced later. When using boost blank, it's important to place it as the first template argument. This ensures that a default constructed variant is considered empty. And that's it. I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.